Hello students, welcome to MJC Learning. I am Manju Dilip. Today I am going to start with 12th Standard Mathematics Part 1 First Chapter Mathematical Logic Part 7. We already studied negations of quantified statements, quantified statements, convex, inverse, contrapositive, etc. in the previous videos. So today we'll start with the topics algebra or statements, find negation by using rules of negation, etc. So we'll start with the topic algebra or statements first. In this table you can see lot of laws. You have to by heart it, but understand the concept first, then by heart it. The first law is item pattern law. In this law, only one statement is used. So, P and P is equivalent to P. And for this junction, P or P is equivalent to P. The first one is for conjunction and the second one is for disjunction. Second law is commutative law. In this law, there are two statements are used. So, P and Q is equivalent to Q and P. P or Q is equivalent to Q or P. This is similar to union of two sets. A union B is equal, equal to B union A like that. Associative law. P and Q and R is equivalent to P and Q and R. That is equal to P and Q and R. So we are just changing the bracket. So here in the first one, we are doing the first Q and R first. Then we are doing with this one. So in the second case, we are doing P and Q first. Then we are doing with R. So both are same as P and Q and R. Next is P or Q or R is equivalent to P or Q or R. That is equal to P or Q or R. Here again. Q or R, do, R is doing first, then we are doing with P. In the second case, we are doing P or Q first, then we will do with R. So, both the case P or Q or R. So, here only one symbol is used in between. So, same symbol throughout the statement pattern. In distributive law, this is similar to this one. But only difference is that one symbol is or another symbol is and. So if this is given like this P and Q or R, we are distributing P to both the terms. So P and Q or P and R. And for the next one, P or Q and R, that is equivalent to P or Q and p or r that is why it is distributive law so we are distributing p to the q and r next law is de morgan's law this one we already studied negation of p and q is equivalent to negation p or negation q negation of p or q is equivalent to negation p and negation q next is identity law in this one again, only one statement is required. Here, P and true is equivalent to P. P can take two values, either true or false. If P value is true, true and true is equivalent to true. If P value is false, false and true is equivalent to false. So, in both of these cases, the answer will be the value of the statement itself. That is why P is given. And in second one, P and false is equivalent to false. Here, if P value is true, true and false is false. If P value is false, false and false is false. So, both the cases, the value of this is false only so the answer is false here p or false is equivalent to p 
so p value if it is true true or false is true if it is false false or false is false so both the cases the answer is the value of p so p is the answer p or true is equivalent to true if p is true true or true is true if p is false false or true is true so both the cases the answer is true that is why answer is true here next is complement law p and negation p is equivalent to false here if the value of p is true true and false is false if the value of p is false false and true is equivalent to false so both the cases the answer will be false here p or negation p is equivalent to true so if p value is true true or false is equivalent to true if p is false false or true is equivalent to true so both the cases the answer will be true next is absorption law so in this one only two statements are given here p and p or q is equivalent to p both the cases in conjunction and disjunction cases we can't tell conjunction disjunction especially because here this is again similar to distributive law only difference is that only two statements are given here p and p so outside is p is given and inside this bracket p or q is so p is repeating here so that is why absorbing this one so absorption law so p is the answer for this one in the next case p or p and q is equivalent to p here again the symbols are like distributive law but the statements are same so absorption law conditional law p implies q is equivalent to negation p or q this is also we already studied by conditional law p m double implication q is equivalent to p implies q and q implies p p implies q you can write it as is equivalent to negation p or q and q implies p you can write it as negation q or p so these are the laws you have to by heart but understand the concept then by heart that will be easy for you next we'll solve some questions write the negations of the following stating the rules used the first question is p or q and q or negation are so this question uh, can be asked like this also without using truth table prove the statement or without using uh, truth table verify or find the value this kind of questions are coming so here the question is write the negations of the following stating the rules used so in the above table there are lots of law we applied so using that laws you can solve this one so you have to find the negation of the full statement pattern so you'll start with negation of the full statement pattern you will write so negation of p or q and q or negation r is equivalent to negation of p or q or negation of q or negation r so we are just thinking this is p and this is q so negation of p and q is de morgan's law so we can apply negation p or negation q similarly here negation of the first statement like this or negation of the second statement pattern like this we are applying de morgan's law once again you can apply de morgan law for the next term so negation of p and negation of q or negation q and negation of negation r so in the next step you will get negation q and negation p we are changing the position of this one by using commutative law or negation q and r in the next step you can see negation q is taken out and negation p or r so by distributing law you can 
make this bigger statement pattern to smaller one usually we used to expand from here to here here the reverse procedure done so that is the answer next question is p and q implies negation p or r here again negation of the symbol you have to write so negation of p and q implies negation p or r that's equal to equivalent to p and q and negation of negation p or r here we are considering this is p and this is q so negation of p implies q is equivalent to p and negation q so we have written the first statement as it is and negation of the second statement here p and q as it is written and here negation of negation p is p and negation r by de morgan's law now in the next step you can change the order like this because both the uh, statement pattern consists p so we are just changing the order so q and p you can write it like this and as it is p and negation r so here after changing the position p came here so p and p you can see in blue color so by using ident item potent law you can apply p and p is p and q as it is q and p and negation r so this is the answer for this question using rules of negation write the negation of the following with justification and the question is given here so first step is you have to write the negation of the full statement so you'll write like this then you'll consider this is p and this is q so negation of the first statement and negation of the second statement by de morgan's law then here negation of negation p and negation of negation q and negation p or negation of negation q again we have applied de morgan's law now negation of negation p is p and this is q and negation p or q so negation of negation we have applied in this case so this is the last answer here only the symbol is different these two inside the brackets if this is or then we can again do it but here it is both are different that's why we stopped here now some exercise questions are given to you have to solve it thank you